Hello, how are you guys? It's Mrs. Morgan's class. I'm so happy to see you. I mean, I can't see you, but can you see me? I'm so glad. Oh my gosh. I was really excited when Mrs. Morgan told me that she was in contact with all of you. I know she's missing you very much. I know that you are missing her very much, and I'm missing all of you. My name's Miss Ng. Maybe you remember me. I used to come to your class, and I will again, but I have a story that I thought I could share with you this way. Uh, this is called Big Mean Mike. Alright, so that, that that's Big Mean Mike right there. And he, he does look a little bit mean, doesn't he? He does. He does. But, but it's a pretty good story. I think you'll like it. It's a little bit silly. It's a little bit silly. You see, it's Big Mean Mike. He lives in town. There he is. Big Mean Mike. This is Big Mean Mike right here. Check it out. Big Mean Mike was the biggest, toughest dog in the whole neighborhood. He had a big, mean bark. Boom! And big, sharp teeth. He wore a big, black collar with gleaming silver spikes. And his claws were big and mean. And he was very... Grumpy. Those claws were a little bit pointy, too. Check out those claws. See how pointy they are? That's Big Mean Mike. Well, best of all, Big Mean Mike had a big, mean car that he liked to drive around the big, mean streets. It made a big, mean sound whenever he revved the engine. <gasps> Here comes Big Mean Mike! The other dogs would say, He's the toughest, biggest dog in the whole neighborhood. Everyone knew how big and tough he was. And that was just the way that Mike liked it. Check it out. Check it out. Check out that big, mean car. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Look, you can see the other dogs. <laughs> oh, no. And it's making a sound. <laughs> Well, one Tuesday, Mike decided to buy a new pair of combat boots. He liked the way they made his big, mean feet look extra big and mean. Check it out. Check it out. Big, mean feet. Big, mean shoes. Oh, look at that right here. Big boots. He came out of the store and admired his big, mean, shiny car. And then he opened up the big, wide trunk. Do you, do you see something in there? I, I see something in there. I don't, I don't know what it is, though. What? There, in the big, mean trunk, next to the big, mean square tire, there was a teeny, fuzzy, little bunny. Hey, said Mike, how did you get in there? The teeny, fuzzy bunny blinked and looked at him sleepily. It was very cute. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. Yeah. Mike picked up the bunny and quickly put it down on the sidewalk. Big, mean dogs and tiny, cute bunnies did not go together. He peeked out and sped away, revving his engine a few extra times for good measure. Oh, I don't need no cute pink bunny. What the heck? On Wednesday, Mike got in his car to drive to the gym. He opened up the glove compartment to get out his gym pass... But when he reached for the shiny plastic card, he felt something else instead. It was something soft. It was something cuddly. What could it be? What? Two little cute bunnies. They were Fuzzy! That first bunny was back and it brought a friend! 
and one of them was holding his gym pass. Hey, I told you to get out! Mike barked at the first bunny. He pointed at the second bunny. And that goes for you too, buddy! <sighs> so Mike scooped up both bunnies, hoping that no one was looking. He didn't want to be seen with cute fuzzy bunnies. And he put them down outside the car. He felt their little eyes watching him as he drove away. <clears throat> Who ever heard of some cute but What the? On Thursday, look at this. Look at that. Right on his car. On Thursday, there were three tiny fuzzy bunnies sitting on the hood of the car. Three. Get off my car, you bunnies, Mike shouted. What if somebody sees you up there? The bunnies did not get off. They looked at him, and they wiggled their cute little noses. See them wiggling their cute little noses? Mike is not happy. Mike picked them up, and one by one, he put them down on the street, off of the car. Look at them. Look at those bunnies. How could he do that? And then he spelled it out for them. Big, tough dogs do not hang around with tiny, fuzzy bunnies, okay? So beat it, scram, and don't come back. Mike found excuses not to use his car for a few days. I'll just walk. I don't want to see any more bunnies coming in. What? The next weekend. Mike had a ticket to the Monster Truck Show. He'd been looking forward to it for months. Monster trucks were big and mean, just like he was. The show was in the next town over. It was too far to walk. So Mike had to use his car. He looked carefully under the hood. No bunnies. He checked the trunk. No bunnies. And then he peeked inside the glove compartment. Whoo! No bunnies in there. Nothing to worry about at all. When he got to the stadium, the parking lot was full of big, mean dogs getting out of their own big, mean cars. Check it out, check it out, check it out. None of them were as big and mean as Mike, of course, but some were pretty close. Some of these guys looked pretty mean, didn't they? Some of them had big cars, but they weren't as big as mean as Mike. Well, Mike turned off the ignition. His keys slipped from his grasp and landed on the floor. A pair of little white paws reached out from under the seat and picked them up. To whom do you think those little white paws belong? All right, said Mike. This is it. He stared in dismay as four fuzzy little bunnies, you see them? Four fuzzy little bunnies were in the back seat. They twitched their soft bunny ears and they blinked their cute bunny eyes. No more bunnies, yelled Mike. Get out of my car. But the bunnies, they just looked at him. Fine, Mike growled. You stay in there. I am going to the show. I'm not going to miss it because of you. He snatched up his keys and he slammed the door. The bunnies gazed up at him with their sweet, bunny little faces. Gosh, you guys are cute, Mike said. And then he looked around. I mean, I hate cute. I'm Big Mean Mike. He started to walk away, but he stopped. And he turned around and looked again. There he was in a parking lot of big, mean dogs. It is not a good place for little bunnies. He couldn't leave them there alone. It wouldn't be safe for them. Oh, Mike had no choice. All right, bunnies. 
You can come in with me, but I don't want other dogs to see you. He got his gym bag out of the trunk. Hop in here and be quick about it. The bunnies hopped into the bag. That was pretty nice of Big Mean Mike. He didn't want those bunnies to be left in the car when those other big mean dogs were out there. Well, Mike hurried inside and he found his seat. The monster truck show was just starting and it was awesome. Mike felt his gym bag moving on the seat beside him. The bunnies were sticking their little heads out. They were peering all around with bright, excited eyes. All right, said Mike. You can watch. Just try not to let anybody see you, okay? Yeah, try. Try not. Do you think those other dogs are going to see them? I wonder. One by one, the bunnies came out of the gym bag. They climbed onto Mike's lap. They nibbled pieces of his popcorn. They bounced in excitement whenever a big mean truck cleared a jump or a little car got crunched by the rough tires. Mike couldn't, he couldn't help it. He couldn't make them go back in the bag. They were having such a good time and so was he. It was kind of fun to have someone to watch the show with. Even better to have several someones, even though they were Cute, fuzzy little bunnies. When the show was over, Mike noticed a group of big, tough dogs waiting for him at the end of the aisle. Hey, you got some new friends over there, Mike? One dog asked. I didn't figure you for the cute and cuddly type, said another. I guess you're not so big and mean after all. The third dog barked, and soon all the dogs were laughing and pointing, and Mike didn't know what to do. This was terrible. His image was ruined. Eh, what are you doing hanging out with a fuzzy, cute little bunch of bunnies? Then one of the bunnies leaned forward and made a tiny growly sound. And all the other bunnies joined in. Mike looked down at them. Slowly, he smiled a big, mean smile. Then he looked at the other dogs and said, You know what? I don't care what you think. I'm Big Mean Mike, and I can hang out with anybody I want. I like these bunnies. They know how to have a good time. They're adorable. Do any of you guys have a problem with that? The other dogs all took a step back. Uh, no problem here, said the first dog. Yeah, we were just kidding around, said the second dog. Good! Now get out of my way. My friends and I, we're going home. And from that day on, Big Mean Mike went back to driving around the big mean streets in his big mean car. He still did everything in his own big mean way. And everywhere he went, though, four tiny fuzzy bunnies went with him. And that is Big Mean Mike. He wasn't really mean, was he? No. We can't really tell what a person's like just from looking from the outside. Just because somebody likes to wear big boots or somebody likes to wear a big collar or somebody likes to wear a big jacket or drive a big car that sounds kind of mean it doesn't mean that they're mean inside in fact mike was pretty nice wasn't he he was sweet yeah he said you could be friends with anyone you want to be friends with and i'm so thankful that i'm friends with you i miss you and i can't wait to see you and come to your class again thank you mrs morgan thank you for this wonderful opportunity